Hi everybody, it's Ruthie. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have been struggling doing a scrapbook page. I have not completed a scrapbook page since November. I had knee surgery in November and I thought it would be easy because I've had three, you know, two other knee surgeries, my third one, and I could just do it while I'm sitting there and that just did not happen. And then my mother-in-law got sick, moved around the house, got my house straightened back up and I've just been stuck. So today, I will get a scrapbook page done. I will not allow myself to criticize myself today. I will not allow myself to beat myself up because it doesn't look like what I expect it to look like. I'm just going to go with it and see how it goes. So I hope you guys join me. Stick around. I'm going to put it on pause for one minute and then I'm going to turn you around Let's get a scrapbook page done today, guys. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm back. Let's get this page done. The first page I'm going to try to get done is my son, Paul. He's my baby boy. When he graduated from boot camp, he uh, volunteered and he served in Iraq. And that was the hardest year of my entire life. I do not ever want to have to go through that again. So if you have a child or a husband or somebody in the military hats off to you. My husband was in the Marine Corps as well, so I digress. <clears throat> you guys know I do that a lot, but anyway, here we go. So I have this paper, Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, and I took a piece of camouflage paper, and what I did was, let me turn this so you can see, I just took a circled die cut. You can use a bowl or anything else to cut the shape that I needed around here because I'm going to make it a pocket because I also have his book from his graduation and what I want to do is I want to have it like this to show his and I want it to be able to come out so that's how I, I just measured the size I wanted it and what I am going to do is I also measured down here at the bottom to see exactly how far down so it's a pocket it's not going to be sliding down so I'm going to glue that and put this on here and then we'll continue with what we're doing I'm just going to do pretty much a temporary type of a thing for now just so that I can if I need to do the corners, I'll get some liquid uh, glue here in a little bit, and I will tuck the corners and that kind of thing in. But for now, I'm just going to use this tape runner. Being careful not to cover this part here up right now. I'm going to put it here in the center. I'm not going to measure. If you're a type of person that needs to measure, make sure everything's straight. I'm haven't done a page in such a long time. I just want to get a page done. So let me test this and see if it's, oh, you know what? I did put glue there. Did you guys see that? Oh my God. Can we say idiot? <laughs> and I wonder why, why I do things when I tell myself you're not going to do this part of it. And I sit right there and did it. That's okay. That's okay. We can fix this in theory. In theory. All right, so let me just pull this back a little bit. Let me get my powder tool here. If you guys don't have a powder tool, you can just get a small container and a uh, put some baby powder or some kind of powder in it, and then put um, like a brush. Use a brush, like a paintbrush, in there. Oh, mercy me. Get all this sticky off of here. Okay. Now let's see how that fits. Ooh, I bet you guys were sitting there going, Ruthie May, don't do that. <laughs> there we go. It works. And it's not sticking to it, but I will fix that more later off of camera because you guys don't need to be seeing all that stuff. This right here, you get a spot like this, that's an embellishing opportunity. That's all that is. I got my husband. We've been married for 42 years, and we he's that gorgeous. He says that's just an embellishing opportunity, honey. <laughs> 
you know, you've been married a while. <laughs> so this is just different pictures that I have of him. This is him and his dad. And I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not. Um, I may do a separate page of just him and his daddy or do a second page of other people who went to this because his grandmother who recently passed away is also, uh, I have a picture of that. So I may do a second page on this one later on. So I think I'm going to do these three. I think I'm going to line them up similar to this. And I want this picture to stick out. So I think I'm going to put this one behind this red and white stars. And then I have some blue paper that just says United States on it. And I'm going to line these up here. I do have some other options over here that I thought I would try, but I really think I'm going to like this, the red, white, and blue, because it kind of reminds me of the flag. So I think I'm going to do that. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Guys, I'm doing things a little different this time. I usually will make sure everything's laid out perfect, exactly how I want it. And then once I make sure, then I, then I glue it down. But I haven't done a page in so long. I just need to get out of this hump. And only the only way it's going to get me out of this hump is for me to just sit down, quit criticizing myself, and just do it. Because... Basically, what you need to do is share the memories, share those dates, share those names and that kind of thing so that you, you know, if something happens to you, then your memories don't just die off. Okay. All right. Let's just temporarily put this down here. Just so they won't be sliding around, I can kind of see where they're going to be. Well, I didn't put nothing on that one at all. Talking about being skittish. <laughs> Woo, honey, honey, honey. Either that or that tape is not working. We're going to blame the tape, guys. There's that glare. Let me see if I can get that glare off for you. Maybe that's okay for now, anyway. There we go. That'll definitely take care of that glare. Won't be as bright, but that's okay. We'll fix that later. So I could put this over here closer, but I, I can also put it over this way. I think I kind of like it right here. I'm going to temporarily put that down. Yep, that's a, that's a Disney one, but I liked it for the stars better than I did the ticket. Okay, so now my embellishments I have here, I'm going to put Army down here at the bottom. I'll scoot it over this way just a little bit. And I have a tank. He didn't drive a tank, he did drive um, a truck in the war. You know, moving equipment around and doing these boots. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of sliding them in there, I think, kind of like this. Oh, that looks cute. Don't you guys think so? And then I have these tags that says U.S. Hero. Let's see how I can get these tucked in here or something. And this flag was actually a clear sticker, but it just wasn't standing out because you put a clear sticker behind on a background and it just, it just, it gets lost. I have this one, but I also have this one here. I think I may like this one better. So I have that one. And then I have this one here. Oh, definitely the, definitely the smaller one. Something like that. That looks cute. Okay. Let's see if I can straighten you guys up a little again. There we go. All right. Now I have this thing that says American Hero. But I think I'm going to um, 
do some layering of these stickers. This one it says freedom isn't free. And I think I'm going to line it up like that. Let's see how it looks right here. Oh, that looks cool. Huh. And this just says I served. And I think I'm gonna put this other flag up here under the flag that says I served. Guys, I like it. What do you guys think? My journaling, I'm just gonna put a tag and I'm gonna put it right here. And I may make it look almost like a dog tag. But I'll have some pictures at the end and I'm just gonna tuck it in here and you can pull it out and, and, you, and see it. So guys, I finished the page, yay me. It's been since November, holy crap. I like it. Guys, I hope this video helps you. If you're beating yourself up right now and telling yourself, you know, you should stop scrapbooking, just just stop. Just don't do it to yourself. And leave a comment down below if you have any tips for anybody who's kind of going through a slump because I finished one page. I really want to finish some more. And pass those memories on, guys. Pass those memories on. You never know when it's going to be the end. And nobody will know who these people are in these pictures and the next generation's kids. So take care guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.